uh, February is both Black History Month and Reggae Month. We celebrate both in the city of Miramar. We wanted to culminate that with a real great festival that embodies all things Caribbean and African. Um, ultimately, we were all enslaved. Uh, black folk and came from Africa. They were dispersed in the Americas. And um, we wanted to, especially with the advent of um, Afrobeats, which really is taking on. Um, before, African music was a little dull. Maybe we got aspects of it in reggae and pop and hip hop. Um, but with the Afrobeats, it really uh, shined a spotlight on, on Africa, especially folks out of Nigeria and Ghana that make a, a lot of the Afrobeats. So with Reggae Month being at the forefront of a lot of modern music today, whether it's hip hop, um, reggaeton, Afrobeats, um, I decided that I, uh, with my colleagues to support uh, a festival in our western suburbs, which there are not many, that includes and encompasses um, various genres such as uh, genres from the Caribbean and from Africa. Um, and so afro uh, Caribbean, uh, the afro Caribbean Festival was born, as I mentioned earlier, uh, that I started a festival uh, years ago in 2003 called Carib Fest, which had the same kind of idea of including all types of Caribbean music at one festival, which you don't find. You either have a reggae show or you have a Trini carnival or you have a compa festival, um, but this one now you're infusing all of them in one venue and now includes Afrobeats. So. We've, we've got a lot of support. In fact, Visit Lauderdale has come on board as a major sponsor, and other uh, folks, Amazon, uh, FPNL, they all believe in the culture. And um, we intend to keep growing bigger, bigger, stronger, better.